Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my July favourites. I have quite a few things that I want to talk to you guys about this month. First of all, I'm going to start off with makeup and the first thing that I have is my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This product is like so intense. It's like really, really, really thick and it has to be used super sparingly for what it is and what it does. It's unreal. I tend to use it more so during the night and if I have like an event or somewhere to go to, I'll do it during the day. But as an everyday type of concealer, it's probably a little bit too thick. Um, you only need seriously the tiniest of little bits. Like you can even see just like with that little dot, it like it completely like white out anything and I suffer really badly from under eye bags and um, dark circles and it's a real problem for me so when I'm looking for concealers I want something that is going to cover that and not make me feel like you can still see the dark circles and this is definitely something that I re would recommend especially if you suffer from those problems so yeah this is in the shade light I purchased mine from Sephora probably about a couple of months ago I can't really remember how much I paid for it like I think it was maybe like $50 or something but I will definitely repurchase this when I do run out if I ever run out you seriously really only need to use the tiniest a bit but yeah I've been loving it I've been using it quite a lot this month so yes highly recommend it cosmetics bye bye under eye next product that I want to talk about is a liquid lip and it is from the Colourpop series in the shade Limbo. I bought this a couple of months ago as well but since we've been coming into the cooler sort of months I feel like the darker lip shades are definitely a trend that is happening at the moment and I'm finding that I'm going to grab this so very often. You would have seen me wearing this in the last few videos that I have filmed because I am seriously that obsessed with it. It is like honestly the perfect shade it's not too cool but it's also not too warm but it has like this really deep richness to it and considering like that these ones are about six dollars us which i think converts to about like eight or nine dollars australian it's a really good price point only problem is i probably really wouldn't wear this like for a, a really really long period because it is something that you have to constantly touch up being a darker shade and because you know it is a cheaper sort of product i find that it doesn't last as long as what say my anastasia beverly hills or my kat von d liquid lipsticks would but i do love it i do go to grab it and this month of july i have been wearing this a lot i've been wearing it during the day i've been wearing it during the night so this is a must for me this month and a product that I cannot live without. So the final product that I want to talk about in the cosmetics is my Morphe 350 palette. Now I know that this is not a new product but I feel like this this palette is like something that I live and breathe and this month has been no exception especially again being winter using a lot of like warmer sort of tones especially heading from the golds to the reds you know to the deep plums I feel like this 350 palette excuse the mess but yes um I find that this palette is just a good go-to palette that I use super red like that I use super regularly. Um, like I said, like all the warmer sort of shades and the, the slightly cooler sort of shades, but I just feel like this month I've just been going to grab it so often. And I don't know, like I, I go through favorites every now and then, like where I'll like thrash a palette and I won't use anything else. So this month, this has been the palette that I've been obsessed with. And it is the Morphe 350, in case you guys have been living under a rock and have never heard of it. But yes, I will definitely have this on the top of my pile every single month as well. But this month has been no exception. The next product that I want to talk to you about is in the hair care. And as you guys all know, I am a blonde and I find that my hair typically goes quite brassy really, really easily. So I have to stay 
on top of my routine that I usually do. And this month I added in a product which I had only really ever heard about. I'd never used myself. And while I was in um, my hair suppliers, I spotted it and I thought, you know what, I might just give it a go. Anyway, it has become one of my new obsessions as well. And I feel like it's not just a monthly thing that I'm going to be using this. This is just going to be a regular in my hair care routine. And it is the Swartzkopf Agora in the 8-1. Now, I've tried all different types of brands and this has to be by far the best one that I have ever used. I did drop back a shade and instead of getting a 9.1, I got an 8.1. And I was a little bit concerned because I thought maybe it might have gone too dark. But in all seriousness, I really don't leave them in for... All that long anyway because being so blonde sometimes it grabs so I like to just leave it in for like a minute two minutes at the very max so I feel like I could have afforded to go down a shade but I don't know like I just feel like this this one has just the most prettiest tones to it I feel like it's not too ash but it also has a little bit of violet in there so it's really not like that blue silvery sort of look it's a quite a pastel -y sort of look and yeah I've been really really loving this and I think this retails for about $18.95 I think you can pick them up from like your hair house warehouses or any hair care stores especially the ones that actually stock Swartzkopf so we all know that I'm obsessed with wing eyeliner at the moment and I dead set cannot get enough of it and I wanted to share with you guys what I've been loving at the moment and it is this the Maybelline Master Precise Pen. I know you would have heard me talking about it but honest to god I literally cannot go one day without using this and I don't know I just feel like the pen is just so black it is so deep so shiny and it's really really hard to find a eyeliner pen that you can use multiple times without it drying out and I really feel like this is it it has a really awesome sharp point and you can get the cleanest wing and the cleanest lines with this so on top of using my master precise if I'm going out for a full glammed out makeup look and I really need my wing eyeliner to be sharp and crisp and black I will then go on with my elf liquid liner in the color jet black it's called yeah and it's just like it's just like your normal pot but sometimes, honestly, you don't need to spend a million dollars to get good quality. Like these two are both drugstore products and honestly, they're probably by far my favorite. I do, I do love my Kat Von D Trooper, but for the price of it and what you're paying for these ones, they're good enough. And honestly, I tend to go to grab these ones before my Kat Von D anyway. But yeah, I've been using these literally every single day. So you would notice in my Snapchats and everything, I've been doing heavy into the wing line. Just, I don't know, it's like my thing at the moment. I love it. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about is fake tan. Now, I know I've talked about my tanning situation in my um, other videos but for those of you who don't know I've been finding it really 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 hard to to use fake tan these days like I don't know whether it's like my body telling me no nope, you've had enough that's it you're done you're done and you're not doing tan anymore but like I just feel like I'm not done doing tan. I'm just not done with it yet. And every time I put tan on, like I'll go really, really dark. And then as soon as like I wash it off, it just like rinses off and I go back to being white. Like I know my hands are a bit oompa loompa at the moment, but I'm willing to accept that because this has been the only tan that has actually stuck to my body in legit. I can't even tell you how long. So I want to introduce to you the Australian Naked Tan bronzing goddess mousse and it is a vegan friendly tan and i don't know like i grabbed this one from my suppliers but i'm sure that you could probably pick it up i'll try and find somewhere that they might sell it it is like a green based tan so i don't know if you guys have ever used the brand naked tan in a spray tan version this is actually a part of that line it's just their foam version of it i suppose but yeah i usually just put on one to two coats depending on how dark that i want to be and honest to god like i woke i wake up and i am freaking black which i tell you has been 
a hot minute since that's happened because I legit cannot wear Bondi Sands anymore because it does not work. So I'm slowly going through each brand of tan to see which one actually suits my skin. I don't know, is there anyone else out there who actually doesn't have their tan stick to them? And what do you do and what do you use? Tell me, like, I need to know. I cannot live my life not being able to wear tan. Like, it's a freaking necessity, I tell you. For the last product that I want to show you for the month of July, it is a perfume. I have my regular perfumes that I use, but this month I was in uh, my chemist warehouse, I think it was, and I don't know, like, I very rarely go in there, but I went in there with my girlfriend. She was picking up a script, and you know what happens. You go look at all the products. The next thing you know, you've bought 10 perfumes. You've bought 10 things that you don't really need. But they had, like, this big, massive sale on perfumes, and I picked up a couple of scents, and one in particular that I grabbed, I wear the Britney Spears Fantasy, which is in the pink bottle with the pink jewels, and I noticed that they they had like a sister of the perfume and it is midnight I think it's called anyway I grabbed it I got a hundred mil bottle and I think I paid like $21 for it so this is the Britney Spears midnight I've been getting so many compliments when I've been wearing this and honestly it's the Britney Spears perfume like how weird is it that I can go and spend like $200 on a perfume and yet the one that cost $22 or whatever seems to get the most compliments but I know that this has been a crowd favorite for so long, but this is honestly the first time that I've ever smelt it or even bought it. So yeah, I, I bought this a few weeks ago and I've been wearing this every single day and I've been loving it. Um, I've already like put a bit of a dent in like the levels. So I will definitely repurchase this because I have been seriously so obsessed with it. I still do love my fantasy, which is the pink bottle. But yeah, this is a definitely a really nice, different, sweet sort of smell. And I'm really into the sweet smells. Like I love the Victoria's Secret body spray. So anything sweet is like what I'm into. So if there's any perfumes that you can recommend to me, please leave them down below. I'd really like to know what yours are. Okay, so for the next thing that I want to talk about, which is a thoroughly enjoyed part of my video for you guys, um, it is what I have been watching. I haven't really watched anything series-wise, like television series-wise. I did go to the movies once and I have been watching a series, but it's not on TV it's been on YouTube and it is from the channel Jamie and Nikki and they are an interracial couple and they're from Melbourne and they've got a little baby Ava and I've just been seriously so obsessed with watching their videos like I think I would just go on a rampage and like watch five or six in a row and I've even gotten John obsessed with them as well and I tend to after I've had my shower, I'll jump in bed and just watch a couple of their videos. Honestly, they're so sweet. Like, I love them. They're just the most beautiful couple and their little baby is just adorable. And yeah, I've been watching their videos religiously every single night for the last few weeks. And oh, I've really, really, really been loving it. So you should head on over and let them know that I sent you there so that they know who's been watching them. But yeah, like go over there and check them out and let me know if you love them too. But also, so the movie that I went and saw, which was Mark and Dave Need Wedding Dates and funny story behind that, I actually had one of my lovely clients give me a gold class um, voucher for Christmas last year and um, John and I have been saving it up, waiting for like a movie that we've been dying to see. Anyway, when we were in Hawaii last year, we actually were in Turtle Bay when they were filming it and when... We actually saw them on the beach and I saw Zach Efron in real life and let me tell you, oh, he's damn fun. He had no shirt on. Oh my God. I was like, John, seriously, if he comes over, I'm leaving you for him. Okay. Thank you so much. But when we were in Hawaii, we saw them filming it. So we were like, oh, when this movie comes out, we have to definitely go see it. So last weekend on Saturday night, we had a bit of a date night and we went to Gold Class Cinemas and we got to watch Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, which was really cool because like some of the scenes there, we actually watched them film. And yeah, it was like, it was actually a really funny movie. Like it was pretty hilarious. So I do recommend it. Um, I would probably give it maybe like, 
don't know, an 8 out of 10. But it was kind of special because we were there when they were filming it. So it was cool in that sense as well. Let me know if you guys seen the movie and you do enjoy it also. But that comes to the end of my July favorites. I know I say this every single month, but Jesus Christ, like it bloody goes so quickly. And like, before you know it, it's like the month is over and you're onto the next one. And I don't know, it's just so crazy. This year's going so quickly and it's like, oh, I don't know, what am I gonna do? But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my favorites. As always, like I always say to you, please let me know what your monthly favorites were. Let me know what you've been enjoying. Share the love. Tell me what it is that you've been wearing, doing, making, watching, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my online family, please make sure that you do. But until next time, I'll see you in my next video. See you. Bye using that this month but also on top of that this sometimes just can't even get over myself with this highlighter i'm like fucking shell <laughs> show me that oh that glow do that glow <laughs>